Good morning, Facebook community. Frank Brewer here. I hope you had a lovely start to the day. And the reason I'm jumping on today is, yeah, I again feel compelled to uh, make a case for coming to counseling, yeah? Um, in a world where the symptoms get uh, medicated and um, people are pretty much left uh, unprepared to face the challenges, yeah? Because medication really doesn't do the job. But what I would really like to talk about is um, how actually, how easy it is to have a wonderful um, counseling experience. It's really not that hard. It only requires one ingredient, yeah? And um, I remember back uh, in the days, it's probably nearly 20 years ago, um, a teacher of mine said, well, there's one thing we really need to do is we need to do the things fully, yeah? So, so to speak, all, all in, yeah? We need to be all in to make things really work for us. And um, I think that's so, so true, yeah? So I'll give, you, I'll give you one example. I had a session last week with a client who I saw for quite a while and uh, now she comes um, so every whatever four or five weeks right and let's say her, her name is monica so monica it was uh, she had a difficult life situation and she would have had all the reasons in the world to uh, to drop out of counseling yeah because it was not a not an easy process but, uh, um, yeah, she stuck with it, she keep, uh, kept coming and so forth, and obviously she got something out of it. So last week we talked about that um, her family really doesn't <laughs> approve uh, of uh, psychology. Yeah? They don't believe uh, in, in psychology, it's all whatever weirdo stuff. Um, yeah, based on their cultural background, which is fine. Yeah, but then she said something uh, that I found really touching. She said, "She said uh, because she was uh, uh, keep uh, because she kept uh, coming to see me, she was actually still on this this planet." Yeah, so she she survived because uh, um, psychology helped her get over um, yeah life or, or life's challenges, right? So and for me, it's like, well, I'm, I'm looking back at whatever, uh, nearly 20 years of um, uh, working with clients and there, there are a couple of things that work and some things that really don't work. So let's talk about three things that, that do not work. Yeah? So uh, number one would be a quick fix belief. Yeah? So uh, this is uh, very interesting how really um, stubborn this belief is because usually when people come to counseling um, their difficulties have been in place for a number of years, yeah? But all of a sudden um, they, they believe it can be quick, uh, 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 fixed in an instant, yeah? But obviously that's not the case because the nature of the beast is we are creatures of habit and uh, it's, it's not gonna change um, because whatever, I, I say something uh, smart or whatever. So that's, um, that's, that's really an obstacle in counseling because people don't bring in the patience or uh, belief when they have to put in work, uh, it's like, well, it's the wrong thing, yeah? But as learning, uh, uh, creatures, we, we, we have to put in some effort, some repetition to make things work. Yeah. So another uh, reason why why people drop out is they have just uh, uh, high high expectations uh, um, what to receive in counseling, and uh, if they don't get it or if they have a session that is less than uh, sort of satisfying or less than perfect. And they say, oh, well, whatever, uh, I, I should be seeing maybe another counselor or um, 
whatever, whatever they come up with. Um, but uh, this is this is really hard because they forfeit the the opportunity to really work through stuff and work through their own resistance. And everybody has resistance. Yeah, we all want to change. Yeah, we want to be somewhere. But at the same time, we don't want because it's it's effort. Yeah, it's effort. Um, and last but not least, uh, what is a um, a real frustration in my life is the circumstances of insurance companies. Yeah, so particularly in Australia, it's like uh, we live in a succession paradigm. Yeah, so Medicare stipulates that people have to see a see a doctor. Uh, to, to go to the psychologist to have access to the rebates all good and fine but after six sessions they have to go back to the doctor for another four per calendar year so and this creates the expectation that uh, uh, things will be fixed in six sessions and ten and uh, that dictates really the, the mindset of um, how to feel about counseling and they think about counseling instead of uh, thinking about the process yeah so typically it's like, oh, we, we only have two sessions left, let's spread them out. So not so much at the end of the year, but uh, definitely mid-year or at the beginning of the year, that's, um, that's something that's go going to happen. And this is not good, because the only thing that is interesting is, uh, is the process, yeah? And is the uh, consistency and, and not the, the Medicare sort of paradigm or the, the framework. Likewise, it is for work cover and so forth. It, it really creates, um, it, it creates yeah, a dynamic which is detrimental to actually achieving outcomes, which is kind of sad. So my encouragement would be just think about a budget, Think about a budget and uh, then see how far you get and then we can we can uh, tailor counseling it's not a problem whatsoever it just should be discussed at some stage right I hope that that makes sense and um, so we <laughs> we're coming now to the number one ingredient um, I suppose it is just consistency yeah so plan in for a bit of time and be patient with yourself and you will get the results yeah work through stuff work through resistance work through feelings of not wanting to go to counseling uh, or whatever i have been annoying or i've triggered you that's all good and fine yeah um, and um, it's kind of satisfying to see when uh, we work through issues it's uh, a much happier uh, a process and the outcome is is just awesome yeah and uh, well um, what all this work with clients and yeah I mean my own life experience of course uh, has has taught me is we, we, we sometimes we need a kick in the butt we need to commit to stuff um, when I look back for instance um, well, I've been playing guitar for whatever, a couple of decades now, so it's coming to four decades. But really the progress is, uh, um, I've, I've made sort of steep incline in, um, in skills, is when I, when I uh, entered a band, yeah, and we had to learn stuff and, and songs and boo, whatever, two songs per week is, is a lot of stuff, but it, definitely accelerates yeah and for counseling it's really not uh, not much of a difference the more we put in the more we get out mm. should go without saying but the autopilot is often uh, a little bit different here yeah? kicks in and we we uh, um, we follow the bandwagon so to speak and uh, that's not a problem but we should get back on it again right all right if you have a question um, yeah pop it in the comment box send me a PM whatever you can also sign up for our uh, monthly info letter uh, that I sent out the button is uh, on the page at the top of the page 
please do so if you want me to inbox you about uh, updates, programs and, and so forth. And yeah, I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.